Welcome or welcome back. My name is Savannah and I am glad that you're joining me for another uh, knitting update video. Um, today I have just, it looks like just two whips to show you. I have a little bit of a spinning finish and um, a little gift that I received earlier this week. I think that is everything that I have from this past week. <clears throat> But I'm not sure. I seem to always forget. I try not to put anything away though until I show it. So I think this is it. Um, I know there was other things with this package that I received in the mail, but it was like candy and stuff like that. So that stuff just that got used, <laughs> eaten, I should say. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, it is December 18th, um, 2022 at about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, so next Sunday is Christmas, so I will not be filming a podcast next Sunday. I do have two more videos planned this year. Yeah, um, so hopefully those will come out. I'm not sure if I'll record them this week or if it'll be after Christmas. I'm pretty sure it'll be this week though. And then for New Year's, I'm pretty sure I'll film a video. New Year's isn't um, planned to just be lazy that day, doing nothing, of course. So I think it's just next Sunday I'll be skipping, and then but you'll still see two videos from me sometime this week or next week. I don't know. I might do one this week, one next week, because I know I have two videos. So we'll see they're going to be on the bigger side because i do plan to do a year in review and a whip parade so i'm expecting at least a year in review one to be quite lengthy so anyways let's go ahead and jump in like i said <laughs> whips first whip um i have not touched this one in a few days um i've I'm starting to feel the burnout a little bit um yeah, I did not get the body finished like I had thought maybe I could actually. I thought maybe once the, the color work portion would have been done, I would have zipped right through the rest of the body, but I underestimated the length. So this is Cosmos by Lisa Renner. Um, I, so I did finish, you can see here, I did finish the color work section. Um, this is where I was last, last week. <clears throat> so I did all of that. Um, I am definitely concerned. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but you see here, like just the texture of the knitting, it looks so different compared to the straight stockinette. Like that's stockinette there, but I'm also catching floats and whatnot so that's the inside so it's catching floats and all that stuff so it just looks not as smooth as just the straight stockinette without any color work so i'm a little concerned there um i think i'm almost to the end of this color and then i'd be adding in the last color <coughs> so this is the last one the last color I'll be adding in to the bottom. So I'm almost there. It's just, you know how it is when you're just knitting body, it feels like it never grows. You just knit, 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 and then you measure, and then it doesn't seem to have grown at all. I hate that so much. Um, so this is all knit in Malabrigo sock. <clears throat> all my colorways are listed on my Ravelry page, which is linked down below. Um, all Malabrigo sock. I'm knitting this, I'm knitting the, the 40, the size 40. Um, yeah, it's not small, medium, large. It's just, it's by like bust inches. So I picked the, the 40, um, because I initially started this with it on the, you know, as a size 38 and it was too small. It does still look quite small. Um, I'm hoping blocking will definitely help with that. I bought some color catchers so that when I wash this, um, I'm gonna keep my eye on this 
uh, very closely and use those color catchers as well because I know for a fact that this blue bleeds. I don't know about the other colors. I'm not sure about that, but I do know that the blue bleeds. So anyways, yes, I have not worked on this in a couple days. I just felt the burnout and I started um, my skirt and that just, that's been holding my, what do you want to call it? My, um, my attention. It's just, I'm really enjoying working on that. And plus I want it finished before the cold months are over, but yeah, um, I'm not sure what else to say. This is knit on a, what is this? A US four or a 3.5 millimeter. So that does kind of suck. It's a fingering weight on a US four. That does take time as well, but <clears throat> I'm going to get this done. Will it be done before the end of the year? No, definitely not. But I'll try to, I'm going to try to finish this by the end of January, maybe. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what else to say about that. <laughs> I do need to pick it back up and get that body finished, though. Maybe I'll have the body finished before the end of the year. We'll see. We'll see. All right, the other whip. Um, I have been working on my half and half triangles wrap as well, just not very much. Um, so I still forget to bring that down with me because it's in my purse. It just stays there all the time. Whoa. So, all right. My, this one has been my main focus recently. Um, this is the Folly skirt. It is available through Espastrico. The designer is Stephanie, is it Earp? Did I have that wrong last time? It's Stephanie Earp, I believe. But it's a free pattern on Espastrico. I believe you can get it on Ravelry or their website. Could be wrong, um, but I will have it linked down below. <clears throat> Let me show you my colors real quick. I'm using Knit Picks. Uh, it's Knit Picks Wool of the Andes. No worsted weight, so it's 100% Peruvian Highland wool worsted weight. This is, I don't remember the size of the needle, but I'll tell you in a minute. <clears throat> Let me get those out of the way. Here are all my colors. I know the shadows. It's been nice just keeping everything very um, nicely organized in here. I'm also marking, oh, this one's not marked, but... I'm marking all of the bands with just a little uh, doodle. Um, I'm marking all the ones that I'm actually using. So I've used all 10 colors. There's 10 colors here, um, but 26 balls. <laughs> um, when I use a skein, like this one I've used, um, I don't want to dig into another skein until the first one's gone. So I mark it, and then when I'm done with it, I put the ball band back on. So I know that this is the skein that I'm supposed to be using. So I've done that for all of them. So I take off the skeins, use the colors, and once I have to clip them to, you know, cause I'm not gonna use that one anymore, or at least for that time being, um, I'll put the ball band back, ball band back on, throw it in, and just put it back in here nicely. Um, did I say all the colors are listed on my Ravelry? Um, and the conversion from the original colors to what colors I'm using for them. <clears throat> I actually found this conversion on someone else's Ravelry page. I should probably link them in my Ravelry page. Um, I really, really love the way the colors are playing together in this. Um, th they're perfect. The, the way the colors are together, I would have probably never been able to figure out which colors worked best together without this conversion that someone else did. So definitely enjoying this, but let me go ahead and show you where I'm at. I'm gonna, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna stand up. It'll be a little bit easier, I think. Let's unroll this since it likes to roll up. So that's where I'm at. This is where I was the last time I showed you. So I had just finished this first motif that I've done. Um, so these four motifs, this one, this one, this one, and this one, 
is just the first chart. There's four charts total in this in this pattern. Um, so I do have this first chart finished. I believe there's only two motifs in the second chart and so on and so forth. So I think it's only about two. Maybe chart number three has three motifs, but I can't remember. But we're getting there. So I started chart number two and I'm almost done with the first motif. I'll probably finish that up today. Again, I'm really enjoying knitting on this. Um, so I think it will fit. I still have to knit the um, waistband as well. That's done after you just pick up the stitches and knit that. Um, so, back. so I think it'll sit right about here. That's where my belly button is. I'm just hoping it'll be long enough. I did steam block this first portion um, but I'm sure with a wet block, it should grow a little bit better. I just want it to be long enough this way. I prefer my skirts to be below my knee or at least hit my knee or below. So we'll see, probably sit down a little bit further if I have a waistband, we will see, but I'm, aren't these colors just absolutely amazing? My favorite part right here is actually these let's see if i can get this area right here i'm loving the teal this teal color with the rust and then the red those are just absolutely beautiful together i mean i love all the colors these are amazing together just fantastic so again this is the folly skirt by it was designed by Stephanie Earp, but it's from Espastri Co. I'm really enjoying this a lot. So yeah, um, the my this is the first gray ball. This one has not been. I think it's been cut one time because there was a big section where. Well, there wasn't really that big of a section. The gray was cut one time, <laughs> but. That's the one main color throughout the entire thing, but I have used all 10 colors. Um, and then here's, let's see if I can flip this inside out easily. Here are the um, floats and you can see all my, all my ends right here. That'll be fun times to weave all that in. I've, ha I've tied these ones together just to kind of keep them out of the way, but there's actually some that I had to tie like together to keep it close because I was cutting the colors in some areas where there was actually a gap in the skirt because I'd start a new color and it wasn't carrying from the last row. So I was having openings like kind of right there, like, but bigger, like a whole section. Like, I think it was mostly right here because I changed these colors, these four colors right here I had a gap. So I had to actually tie those together to keep the gap closed. but. I do plan to weave these all in probably at the end. I'm not too worried about all that. Um, I do have this end that is awfully short though. I should probably go ahead and tie that in somewhere. But yeah, um, just enjoying the crap out of this. I wish it was a portable project, but of course it is not. Um, let me go ahead and tell you what the needle size is. I think it says US 6. Yes, US 6 4.0, it's a four millimeter. So yeah, super enjoying that. I'm gonna move my cookie stitch marker. Oops, cookie stitch marker. Go ahead and move that all the way down. Okay. So yep, <laughs> it is so soft and so, thick and it, I know it's just gonna be absolutely so warm I cannot wait to have it finished I know that I'm gonna start to feel a little bit of a burnout because um, is it every motif I don't know if it's every motif no at least it's there's an increase there's an increase in this motif in here 
in this one as well and there'll be another one in the next one i'm almost to another increase so it's just going to keep increasing so i know that that's going to start to feel like um cumbersome i'm not entirely sure how many stitches are in each round to be honest um it's not mentioned in the pattern i know the charts say how wide each chart is um at the end of the chart because you know it starts little and then it widens up so i could probably do the math to figure out how many stitches are on my needles but i'd probably rather not know right i don't know i'll probably get curious at some point but yeah that is what i have been working on um Okay, spinning. I did finish, finally. It took a while to finish this one, but I did. Finished it yesterday, and now I just tangled it all up. Fun times. If I have a picture, I'll insert what the fiber looked like prior. Oh, I didn't even bring any of the information down. Okay, so I'm gonna just probably pop it in because I did not bring the card down with me. But I finished spinning this. This is called Grandma's Handkerchief, I believe. Um, I got it from Spinalicious a while back. And I thought it was really, really pretty. I liked it. Um, I'm not sure if I love it spun up. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with this yet. Um, so I did a traditional three ply. The, when I split the fibers to spin, it split automatically on it by by itself. Like I went to split it and it decided to do it in three sections. Um, so I was like, okay, well I guess I'm doing a three ply, which you know what, I don't hate and I really love how it looks. The only problem I had, honestly, was the fact that one bobbin had way more fiber than the other two. And so when I tried to chain ply it, I overspun it really terribly, which I don't even think you can tell. Like this is all that was, it's just really overspun. There's a lot of really yucky spots. Um, and when you chain ply, your colors kind of, they'll meet each other. So there's, it's, it's not as marled or barber pulled as this one. So, I'm not sure what I'll do with this. I don't think I will keep this. I don't know. Um, so, I gotta weigh this, see how much fiber is here, um, and de debate on what I want to do with this. I do wanna, I wanna skein it up. So, that usually helps me to see if I like it or not. Um, so, I'm debating on actually putting this in my Etsy store. It's just, again, I'm not sure. Um, see, so the fiber content, I can't remember what it is. I know there's silk in here, which I don't enjoy um, spinning silk because uh, I can't get it as even as I can just the fiber. Like silk for me seems to want to clump up uh, when I get to a bigger chunk of it. I wish I had an example but I don't think I do. This one has silk in it. But where? See, I can't tell. These two say they have silk in them, but there's not chunks of it like this one had. This one had chunks of silk in it. So when I get to a chunk of it, it doesn't, what do you want to call it? Separate easily? Yeah, I don't know about this. It's beautiful. But I don't know what I would make with this. And I don't think it's a full 100 grams because of this. But again, I have to wait and see. So I might add this to my Etsy. So it'll go up here after I get some information on it. Okay, so I did start another spinning project last night. It's from Nest Fibers. It is 100% merino, um, and it's a Christmas themed. Uh, I didn't take a picture yet, I need to. So I split it in half. I made sure it was just a half. And, um, oh, it's called Stockings Full. It's really pretty. It's like a deep golden orange. Um, 
a dark red, a pink, blue and teal or green and teal. I don't know, it's pretty. So, um, yeah, that'll be fun. And I like spinning merino. It's so nice and soft. Okay, gifts, gifts. Last Tuesday was my last knit group for the year. Um, and one of the ladies um, gifted all of us one of these little bags that she made. So we kind of like did a little cookie exchange. We all cook, make, we all made cookies. And then um, we all sat around and knit and crochet and eat cookies. And uh, one lady, like I said, she made these. I gifted some of my stitch markers that I made for the shop that just never sold. So I just gifted all of those. Um, but yeah, these are these were super cute. So she gave us um, some split ring stitch markers and a darning needle, um, a tape measure and a pair of scissors. So I've never had stork scissors before, so it's fun to have something new. These are really nice too. Um, like I was using these to cut the strands on my skirt because I brought that with me um, to knit on and this came in very handy. I I love little kitties. So yeah, this was a really nice gift. This is one little thing. So I keep that in the basket and then a friend um part of the our little swap group that, um that i'm part of i talked about how we we kind of did like a mini advent for each other like we one of a one of the ladies had her daughter pull names out of the hat and that's who we got like as a partner but this same lady she's very very generous and very very lovely and she loves to dye yarn so she actually on top of just doing her partner she made all the rest of us little goodie bags as well i cannot remember what else other than candy that came with the bag and i feel hor horrible Ooh, a pair of socks fuzzy socks yes those were really nice <laughs> <laughs> They're upstairs. Uh, I just washed them because I did wear them the same day that I <laughs> unpackaged the thing. But the yarn, um, the yarn that she included, absolutely beautiful. So she included four minis. I believe this was, this is the, okay. So I, when I sat down to record, um, I actually saw this mini just laying on the floor over here. And I was like, where the heck did that come from? I think it came from this because I know there was four minis and I had only had three. So I was like, okay. It probably was from this set. She dyed up this. This is so pretty. I love this. Um, this really pretty one. This one has sparkle in it. I don't think you can tell, but oh, maybe a little. It's really pretty. And then this one. Again, I think it's from this <laughs> from this set because there was only four. So I think there was four. I don't know. So those ones, and then she made this sock set. So again, um, if you've watched any of my previous videos where I've received a package from this lady, I absolutely love her little labels that she makes. Um, this one says Winter 2022 Swap, the colorway that she did for all of us. Um, and this says, this stunning colorway and its minis were inspired by the photo of vintage Christmas colors, forest green, navy blue, cranberry red, gold, and pale pink. So a couple of weeks ago, she had sent like four different pictures. They're like four different color palettes, you know, Christmas themed color palettes and asked us to, um, kind of, uh, just give our opinion, which ones we liked best. There's two that were really, really pretty. Um, because it had like the deep red in them and I was like, I'm really feeling the deep red right now. Like, like this, I want a cardigan in this. This is Holly Berry, by the way. I don't know if you can see that, but Holly Berry really love these reds right now. Just, yeah. So, um, we all agreed that we liked this one colorway, like color combo, um, the best. Um, so this is what she came up with um, for it. So this is the, um, it's a 75-25 superwash merino nylon. Um, you know, there's three minis. And then the full skin, really pretty. Um, 
obviously I'll probably make a pair of socks with this. But I'm trying to think which sock pattern would I want to make with this. Do I want to do... I'm debating if I'm mm, singing because I'm really enjoying the DK socks, like just holding two strands of fingering weight together and making a pair of socks. I'm really enjoying that uh, lately because it A, it knits up faster and B, they're so cozy and squishy. So I don't know if I want to do that with this or find a different pattern. I have so many patterns for socks. You know, you could do heels, toes, cuffs, or, you know, do whatever. You could do stripes. I don't know. I mean, and then there's all these two. While this orange one might not go well, I do think the rest of these probably would. Either way, I'm not entirely sure, but so lovely. I love it. I really want to make the Cider House socks by Summer Lee Design. It's just, that's an all over cable sock. So, I'm not sure. And then a striped cuff. It's a striped cuff. Um, so, I'm not sure, but I would. <laughs> I'm wondering if that would work with cables, like if I would be able to see the cables with this. Because it doesn't feel like it's that variegated. I mean, probably is quite variegated. Yeah, um, this is what I've received. Yep, I'm gonna let you guys go though, um, so that I can, well actually I was gonna go spin for a little bit, so I'm gonna go spin and then probably work on this a little bit later. Um, yeah, that's about it. Laundry, as you can probably hear, needs to get done today. Um, my children are off for holiday. I still have two more days of work. Um, so just have to make sure everything is taken care of. That is it. Yes, that is it. Again, no video next week or at least no update video next week. I will be doing a year in review video and a whip parade, which is just showing all my current whips, like every whip I have, whether they're currently just sitting at the bottom of a basket because they're in timeout or they're a UFO everything that I have that has been started I will show you so yeah that is that is it um I will see you guys soon happy Christmas or um I hope you have a wonderful holiday break bye